Hello guys, it's Krista. I'm gonna hop on. I have my melting basket to share with you guys. So I did get to pulling. Um, I decided to join in on the, I think it's like the November wax challenge. I don't remember the, the full name of it, but I believe it's just a November wax challenge um, that uh, Angie from Kentucky Waxy Girl is doing. I know she set this up and had her like Instagram followers and friends and people from like YouTube and everything kind of do some suggestions for like kind of like prompts and themes to melt for the month of November. Um, so I'm actually going to be doing two challenges this month. Um, so I did pull stuff for the one that Angie set up just because we have the list here um, and I could pull my baskets kind of ahead of time and get stuff ready. Um, and then I also am doing a daily challenge in the Birdies Making Sense group. I did mention that in a previous, I think it was my last melting basket video. Um, so if you guys want to join in on either of these melting baskets, definitely feel free. It's like the more the merrier. I think these challenges are always so, so fun. Um, so I did go through, I think there was one prompt that I didn't have something specific um, four. Um, I'll get to that one, but I kind of, you know, substituted it with something that I thought would work that's kind of along the same lines. Um, so this melting basket is going to be from November 7th through the 13th, I believe. Yes, for me, that's how it's going to go. I just do my baskets um, Monday to Sunday. So it'll be the 7th through the 13th. So I have the prompts here in front of me. So let's just jump right in here. So on November 7th, the prompt is to melt a purple colored wax in honor of those who suffer or have been lost to Alzheimer's. That was suggested by Beth J here on YouTube. Um, and I did pick a couple items for that one. So I picked a couple of like clamshells and then I have a little souffle. So the first one I pulled for that one is this one from The Bathing Garden. This one is Blueberry Lemon Funnel Cake and it's kind of like, like a periwinkle, like kind of purple in here. I thought it was appropriate. Um, and this is one that I pulled for a previous basket but I never got a chance to warm it. So I thought this was a perfect time to pull it in again. And this one's really, really delicious. Just smells like a delicious lemon blueberry bakery. So thought that that was perfect. So we'll try that one out this week. Um, and then I pulled in another bar of Halloween Town. This one is kind of like a gray purple. It's kind of slightly discolored just because this one is an older bar. Um, yeah, it's a little oily here. I wanted to get this one used up and I thought the color worked perfect honestly so Halloween Town this is kind of like a apple uh, I think it has like cranberry and then there's like a woody note in here it's really really pretty a nice fall staple so I wanted to pull that one in and then lastly for this prompt I did pull in this one as a kind of like a nighttime blend this one is salt mountain melts this is pillow mint and this is lavender peppermint pink sugar and toasted mallow so we have that souffle to try out as well. So that is for November 7th. November 8th, this is the one that I had kind of a hard time um, because this one you have to melt a shaving cream scent or a shaving cream blend for No Shave November. That was suggested by Anna Nation. Um, I don't have any blends that have shaving cream or I don't have any scents that are shaving cream. So to substitute, I kind of decided to pull some masculine scents because I feel like to me, shaving cream is like a masculine kind of fresh kind of scent. But then again, I've never actually smelled that scent oil. I don't believe I've ever had a melt with shaving cream. So I'm just going to kind of go about, you know, that prompt in my own way, kind of, and just pull in some masculine scents. So the first one I pulled in, and I did pull in a brick here as well. So the first one I pulled in is this one from Black Magic Melts. This was the collab with uh, Plana Hannah. This one's Mama, which is Midsummer's Night Yankee Candle type. And this one I know is very like cologne -y. It's very masculine, but it's also kind of clean at the same time. So yeah, I figured this one 
would be appropriate. Um, I'm a little nervous for this day though too. I'm not going to lie because um, just because I'm pulling cologne scents kind of in place of shaving cream. I know sometimes cologne scents can be a little overpowering depending and they can sometimes give me a headache. So hopefully I don't get a headache from these blends. But this one I know I've had for a little bit and I would like to try it and use it up. But that one I thought would be appropriate. Um, and then I did pull in a Scentsy Brick. This is a newer brick that I just picked up. This is Winter's Eve. This one is like kind of like a tree note and then it does have some bergamot in here. So it has like a touch of like a masculine vibe. Yeah, so this one to me gives me that clean masculine. I don't know. So I thought that this would be appropriate as well and also a nice, you know, scent to try. And I think this will be a nice one to kind of go with that theme. I don't know. It's very fresh to me and clean, but yeah, it has a cologne masculine vibe. So I'm going to go for it. Um, so I'm going to work on some of this and do that on the um, eighth. So I don't know. That's kind of a fun prompt in a way because now it kind of makes me want to try shaving cream in a blend. Now I feel like I need to go out and order some wax at some point here and maybe just kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit and try something with shaving cream because I don't have any. I don't have any shaving cream in my collection. Um, so the next one I was kind of going back and forth about. So this one, November 9th, it says melt a wax that reminds you of your favorite city or country. Um, it says, for example, places noted for favorite food, coffee, mountains, oceans, beaches. And this is from Miss Kelly Mack. That was um, suggested from um, Kelly. So I don't know. I kind of went back and forth on this one. So what I decided to do. So, okay. So I went on a trip to Alaska back in, I think it was 2017, so years ago. Um, and I know this is like kind of funny, but like part of the trip, we went to Seattle, Washington to board our ship. So in Seattle, it was just very memorable to me because if you're familiar, Starbucks coffee is from Seattle. That's where it like originated. So although Alaska was beautiful in the next sense. I'm going to pull her kind of reminiscent of that in a way. Um, I did want to pull this one in because this is just something that like I always think about. Um, so being in Seattle and boarding our ship in Seattle, since that's where Starbucks was made and like where it originated, I thought it would be appropriate to pull this one in because that's just such a memorable trip. Um, and I have this one here that is Starbucks coffee. And this is from Sassy Girl Aroma. The notes on this are Colombian coffee with a hint of buttery caramel and a splash of whipped cream. This one I've only melted a square of. I think I melted a square like a little bit after I got this melt. But this one is coming up on a year. So I really need to get this going. I really would like to warm this. And it smells really, really good. I feel like it almost smells better now. Um, I remember when I first got this one. I was a little intimidated by it because it smelled so like almost like burnt coffee to me on cold like maybe like slightly skunky kind of um, but now it smells more like creamy and kind of like toned down with the coffee and not as like like skunky I guess I don't know how else, how else to describe it um, but that was part of that trip and I remember just you know, loving it because I'm a big Starbucks junkie and just seeing like the original location of Starbucks where it all started, I thought was really interesting and very fun and like kind of a fun memory. So I decided to pull this one in and I thought it was appropriate because I do like to have coffee each week in my melting basket if I can. Um, and then I pulled in these two and they're both kind of like ocean aquatic almost makes me think of like the beach kind of um and just being like on a cruise or going to Florida and being by the water um and those were other like trips and things that I've done before I've gone to Florida many times and going on my cruise and being you know obviously you're on a ship you're on water and I just thought that these would be kind of appropriate they're very aquatic and kind of like clean and just make me think of those you know, those memories. So we have Ava's Country Cupboard Surfs Up. And this is sea salt, ocean air, and hint of citrus. And it's like this little two-pack here. 
yeah very clean fresh just makes me think of like the ocean and it smells so good and then this one is wicked essence eye of the hurricane it's aquatic sea salt musk um ocean air before the storm and yeah this one's kind of similar um they're definitely different but they're kind of the same vibe so i think it'll be a nice kind of like you know fresh clean scent to put throughout my apartment and then i'll probably have the coffee going in my office um but like i said too every day for the challenge i am going to be pulling in another melt for the birdies making sense challenge for november because that's like day to day so i'm going to be pulling in some extra things here for that challenge as well but i don't know i'm excited to participate in both of them so let me get going on the next day so that'll be november 10th okay this one is are you team pumpkin or team apple melt a pumpkin or apple scent or both from annie mcgee um i pulled both because although i am more so a pumpkin fan i think pumpkin's more so like my love i love pumpkin i do love apple as well especially this time of year so i wanted to pull in both so I pulled in a couple of apple scents and then I pulled in one like kind of mini melter bag from Rose Girls that I would really like to work on and get finished here um, just because it's coming up or like it's at least a year old. So definitely needs some loving and I should definitely warm this one. So for pumpkin, I pulled this from Rose Girls. It's pumpkin frosted cupcakes and I don't even think I've warmed this one. So I'm like, why have I been hoarding like this melt? But it smells so good. It just reminds me of the like pumpkin cupcake scent from Bath and Body Works. I don't know if that's still a like candle, but I know I've seen it before at Bath and Body Works. Yeah, it just smells like a delicious like pumpkin cake with buttercream kind of. So we have that mini melter of pumpkin. And then for apple, I pulled in these two here. So we have Sensational's Farmhouse Cookies. This one, it says absolutely delicious. I don't know the exact notes, but I know there's apple in here. It's got like bakery. It's really nice, definitely apple. So we have that one. And then I also pulled in a Scentsy Bar, which is Winterberry Apple Tea. And this one's such a good one. I remember loving this. Yeah, it's so pretty. And you for sure get that apple. It's like, I forget it. It's like apple tea, I think, and like some cranberry and honey. I'm not sure, or I'm not sure of the exact notes. I'm forgetting at the moment, but it's a really pretty kind of cozy scent. So I'm really looking forward to warming that one again. It's been like a year since I've warmed that, but um, very much looking forward to that one. Okay, November 11th is Melt Red, White, or Blue Colored Wax for Veterans Day. And that was from another Wax Insta who suggested that. So for that one, I actually pulled in this one, which I know I I ordered because I love this like scent from Bath and Body Works and I found it in wax. Um, and I was going to save it for like next spring and summer, but I thought, you know what, why not pull it in um, and just kind of go for it. And that's this one from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is Firecrack, Firecracker Pop, the Bath and Body Works type. So it's got blue and red little shapes in this puppy pack here. And it's like a cherry scent. It's really good. It smells just like a bomb pop. And then another one I thought would be appropriate is this one from Scentsy. It's red, white, and berry pie. And it's just a delicious like cherry. Yeah, this one's so yummy. A cherry bakery. Smells delicious. It kind of reminds me of um, if you guys have ever had like a turnover from Arby's. They have a cherry turnover and it reminds me of that. I know that's kind of random, but for some reason it makes me think of that specific like food item. I don't know why that is, <laughs> but yeah, so that is November 11th for Veterans Day. Um, and then November 12th, it says melt a scent to your family loves. And that's also suggested from another wax Insta. Um, so I pulled some scents that I know me and my husband enjoy in our in our home here um so this one is grape granita from scentsy my husband loves this scent i also really enjoy it this one has become a favorite for us and it's a really good performer and it's just kind of a grape scent it's sweet but it's also 
it's just like unique. I don't know how else to explain the scent, but I know it has honeysuckle, grape, and like pineapple. So it's fruity, but it also to me has like a fresh kind of quality in here. And I think it's because of the honeysuckle, but it's a really pretty scent and we do love this one. So I pulled that one in and then we also both love cereal scents. So I pulled in this mini melter bag of Cereal Killer from Rose Girls. And this one I'm pretty sure is just like a Fruit Loops. Yeah, it smells like Fruit Loops. Ugh, I'm so excited to have some cereal like blends in here. So this one smells just like Fruit Loops. It smells delicious. Okay, and then the last day of the week, November 13th, it says, Melt a scent you've been hoarding, and that's from Michaela Hunter. So I mainly pulled in one for now, uh, but this is one that I know I just want to work on, and I really want to finish this. This is a scoop from L3. I don't know why I've been hoarding it, why I haven't pulled for it. I have no idea, but it's this scoop here from L3 Waxy Wonders. It's cinnamon sugar pretzel. This is one of the first scoops I ever purchased. I know it's old. I need to get using it. I have like a little bit more than halfway. So this is going to be like a goal of mine to finish this up. I just, you know, I don't gravitate towards scoops that much. And I've just been like holding on to this. I don't know why. So we're going to melt it. And I'm excited to finally dig into this one. And I love this scent. So that's another thing. I want to enjoy it. I want to be able to use it. So that is what I pulled for that day as well. And this is such a delicious scent. So that is it for this week. I loved pulling things for each day and each prompt. It was a lot of fun. And I plan to continue um, these two challenges this whole month. Um, and I do have a Instagram account. I have Another one that I made recently for just like my wax melting and stuff, I usually have it linked below. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. So I will probably share these items on my wax Instagram as well. If you guys are interested in following, um, it's K Marie melts underscore, and it's always listed below in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. If you are joining in on these um, challenges, definitely be sure to share your items that you're warming. That's going to be so much fun. I love to see what everyone, you know, picks and warms through during the week. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon in another video. And I hope you guys have a great week. Bye, guys.